Hello everybody. Uh, I thought I'd just show you what I've been working on for the past few days. Um, had a little bit of time spare, so I thought that I would have a little go and do a bit of kit bashing. So what I came up with is uh, this, which is a mounted Saxon. Um, I used uh, Vitrix parts, um, used the lower half of one of the Gallic cavalry and one of the Gallic horses. I don't usually paint horses, guys, so... You know, I'm not the world's best at doing them, I must admit. Yeah, no, but it turned out okay. Um, yeah, so I stuck him together. Yeah, I know, he should be holding the reins and um, his shield should be strapped, but until they, uh, the people at Vitrix have actually released some Norman cavalry, it's going to be really difficult to get the strapped shield. It's like, that's going to be one of the ones that's held by hand there. But the new ones, the, cav the Norman cavalry that are coming out, they're going to have strap shields and they're going to have a uh, chain mail that comes down over the legs as well. So yeah, really looking forward to those. But in the meantime, I thought, you know what, fancy doing one. I've not actually had a play about and, and done anything in the way of conversions. So I thought I'd have a little go at this. And uh, yeah, reasonably pleased with how he came out, to be honest. I mean, yeah. I know, no stirrups either. Yes, guys, I've heard it all. No stirrups because, yep, it's uh, from the Gallic Cavalry, the lower half. And, um, yeah, they didn't have stirrups. It was a later invention, I've been told. But, yeah, this is him. I was quite pleased with him, to be honest. Like I said, I don't really do conversions that often. Yeah, and, I, and I thought, you know, I've not got a mounted thane, a mounted sort of warlord. I thought I'd have a little play, you know, while I had a little bit of time to spare. And, uh, yeah, put this one together. You know, chop the, chop the body off of uh, one of my normal Saxons and sort of glued it, glued it to the uh, lower half of one of the Gallic cavalry. Um, patted it in a bit, so it didn't look too obvious that I've joined it together. And, um, yeah, just basically stuck one of the... Uh, the warlord's heads on there and just give it a little bit of putty in there just to fill in the gaps make sure it didn't look sort of too terrible but yeah i'm reasonably pleased with him to be honest you know i know there's a lot of button counters out there be going well yeah it's not historically accurate the shield's held wrong and he's got no stirrups and yeah the saxons really didn't use cavalry that much but i don't care and uh, I just enjoyed painting it, to be honest. It was a bit of practice to do a, uh, a, a, a horse. It's like I said, I don't really do cavalry that often. And, yeah. Came out okay. Nothing spectacular, but yeah, quite nice. Shield as usual. One of the, uh, the Victrix shield transfers. Weathered it up a bit, as I usually do. Leather work uh, was my usual sort of... Uh, base coat with washes uh, the brown yeah, I could have done socks on it I'm kind of thinking that maybe I should have done socks on the, some of the feet of the horse but I don't know, that's for the next one I will be doing some more cavalry again soon this is just a bit of practice to be honest and we've got some uh, new little pants that I wanted to have a little play with like the uh, the glaze for the tail and the mane that was one of the glazes that I've just got, and that was from Vallejo. It's a black glaze, and what I did with that was sort of base coat with a uh, a grey, a lighter grey, and then hit it a couple of times with the um, the black glaze, the Vallejo black glaze, and then um, I gave it a little wash of a brown as well, so just to sort of uh, so it wasn't sort of too black. Same with the legs. You know, this, the horse was really quick, guys, I'll be honest. I, I didn't really take ages to... I say really quick. No, it wasn't too quick. It was just really quick the way that I did the highlights. Highlighted it up first. Sort of used some of the um, Scale 75 colours and brought it up to uh, that sort of colour. I also used some of the uh, Acrylic Pro colours as well. Mixed them together, brought it up to that. And uh, then I gave it a, a little lick over the top with the sepia and because the sepia like i say i use sepia on my leather on my leather 
there, but I also use sepia on a lot of the browns as well because it it sort of it sort of blends in the highlights a bit. That's what I like to do. And yeah, it was nothing spectacular. Yeah, the highlights are really sort of quick, big brush highlights. Got the big brush out, slapped on some highlights. But once you've done about three or four highlights on it, and then you uh, give it a wash of ink over the top. When I say a wash, it's more like a glaze. A couple of glazes here and there. Lots of lining though. I must admit, I did line all of the leather. Um, around the edges of the leather, the saddles and things like that. That sort of makes them pop a lot. You know, when you, when you line stuff. Some people don't use lining, but I, I like to line most of the stuff that I do. Might have mentioned it before in a few of my videos. But... Yeah, all in all, reasonably pleased with it. Um, and yeah, please leave any comments, guys. I mean, if you like it, then, you know, let me know that you like it. What I'm really looking forward to, and I must be honest, is when the Norman Cavalry come out. I'm hoping that, you know, if I ask nicely, that I might be the man that paints them for the website. I'm doing the Norman Infantry. I've been told that... Uh, they should be released in uh, the later part of February this year. So, yep, I should be getting them. I should be getting them pretty quick, actually. I'm hoping, anyway. I've been told that I'm going to be getting them straight from the factory. Because I've got to paint them up for the website. So I'll be one of the first guys to get those. And I'll probably do a little review of those as soon as they pop in through my letterbox. But, yeah, once again, I hope you like him. Um... And yeah, please leave some comments and yeah, I'll see you on the next run. Take care. Bye-bye.